All right, so it's working. Nice. Um, yeah, I couldn't figure out how to set up Adobe. Adobe Premiere. Could you believe that? Haven't done a live uh, post commentary in so long. I don't even know how to set up this uh, recording thing. Today isn't gonna be the usual live commentary, gameplay highlight kind of thing that I usually do. Uh, I, I actually kind of long and short of it. My cat keeps knocking over my mic. And every time it unplugs, I, I forget that by unplugging it and replugging it, it fucks up OBS and, and the audio doesn't work. It's just horrible. So you'll see the you see the salvaged gameplay in the background. It's completely muted because of course it doesn't it decides to not record the game the game audio for whatever reason. So you know today's gonna be uh, some budget candy roo video time. You know first and foremost, guys, I, I figured I would take the time today since I can't get in a usual video to at least you know thank you guys for subscribing we're, we're at we're a hundred thousand subscribers right now I mean everyone's been telling me and congratulating me and, and and thank you guys so much for your your congratulatory comments uh, it's been uh, it's been very humbling it's very flattering those even those two even go together I don't even know but at the same time you know I, I feel like you know I we got we got a longer ways to go especially Especially with the YouTube demonetization. Did you guys know about that? Like a sh ton of creators just got. Oh god, I just cursed. Ah uh, man, <laughs> I really have to watch that because, like, a whole bunch of my videos just got demonetized, and I was able to appeal and get get some of them back. But like the screenshot I'm showing now is just the front page, like the first page of videos. Like that's not even counting my previous year's worth of, of videos. Uh, it's, it's just yellow everywhere. And I know a number of other YouTubers have gotten flagged, um, so it's not just me. But um, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I just feel like you know, even though we're 100k subscribers, it sounds impressive. Like you know, I still can't do this full time, right? It's not going to be realistic uh, to do this full time, even at 100,000 subscribers. So bear that in mind, guys. I mean, unless you get crazy views. I mean, like, I think right now I don't get that many views, but um, where am I even going with this? Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, but this kind of brings me back to, like, you know, the, the whole how I started here on YouTube. If you guys, I'm sure a few of you out there have been around since the beginning. You know, I did Planetside 2, then I did Dirty Bomb, and then I kind of jumped over to Overwatch uh, when that was released. And it's been it's been crazy. I, I know, I don't know if you guys remember, but like for the first couple of years of me doing YouTube, I mainly did like informational stuff, news stuff, guides. Yeah, it's been, uh, it was an interesting ride. And, and like now my content's completely shifted, right? I mean, I don't know, not that many people have complained uh, in fact, I can probably say I only saw like maybe one or two comments of people complaining like, Oh, why don't you ever cover patch notes anymore, Candy? Where are the patch notes, Candy? Yeah, no one, no one is complaining for the patch notes. Um, kind of made, kind of made me think about other Overwatch YouTubers, right? My boy Lone Hawk, Alex, you know, thinking about you, babe. Uh, he put out a video saying how burnt out he was and things like that. And for me personally, I kind of, I don't want to say I was burning out last year, uh, but like, I want to say fall of 2016 was some really shitty times for my channel. Like, it just wasn't going anywhere. Uh, I mean, it's, st it's still not really going anywhere, but it's a hell lot better than what it was before. And I feel like it's because at the time I was doing kind of very, like, Stylosa Force type content not to like bash them in any way but just like the what they're doing is kind of already taken you know like they're the big dogs in that scene and it's just like all right how many more topics can i do right like what what else what other guides can i do i mean there's only 20 some heroes and a few maps like i, I don't know the, the, basically the content uh for me anyway is kind of dried up and, and i was kind of tired of going through reddit and going through like blizzard posts and trying to like figure out what today's video is going to be Jeff, I hope you type something! Write something, Jeff! So I can make a video about it. I don't want to say it's competition, but it was like... You know, like, if, if Blizzard puts out, like, some blue post and it ends up on Reddit, you know every Overwatch YouTuber's gonna cover it. Not to say they shouldn't, I mean, it's, you know, like, not everyone looks at Reddit. Uh, but for me, it was like, I was just like, alright, well, these other guys got it. I, I gotta... If I want to grow on YouTube, I got to figure out something different. So I don't know. I, I kind of decided just to kind of take a risk on trying to build content a, a little bit more around me. I can kind of totally see why Overwatch content and in terms of like the news guides, informational stuff is, is this way. It's just kind of a shallow, 
<laughs> you guys are gonna beat me up about this, but in, in my humble opinion, I think Overwatch is pretty simple. I mean, there's usually a circle jerk of people saying how like beautifully complex and whatever Overwatch is, but if you think about it, if you really think about it, like it's it's you know twenty some heroes, same four abilities. Uh, you have the same set of maps, maps and game modes, and that sounds like you know it could be a pretty complicated game. But like if you look at other games, uh, there's uh, you know you know in, in Overwatch, there's no there's no economy system, there's no way to customize your character. You know you can't like put on different guns, put on different attachments. Uh, that, and maybe I'm not saying Overwatch is a bad game. I'm saying from the content creator side, that kind of leaves very little room to do like informational stuff on right like you can't like rate different loadouts or you can't like rate different guns for soldier 76 could you imagine if soldier 76 got an ak oh my god that'd be amazing you can't even do like troll loadouts i know certain games have uh you know you can customize the character and do tr a troll loadout so i guess i guess in overwatch that'd be considered a throwing but you, you guys are kind of getting the point i'm getting at is from the content creator side it can dry up. I mean, for me, it did, right? It definitely dried up for me. I mean, like, how many guys can you do on Tracer? I mean, really. Tracer's the only hero who hasn't been changed, come to think of it, right? And she's never been patched. Is she, like, supposed to be perfectly balanced? I don't even know. Um, I'm kind of surprised, though. I, I feel like the Overwatch YouTube scene should be huge, but, like, most of the big, big channels are anywhere between, like, 200,000 and 600,000 subscribers, right? But Overwatch has, like, millions and millions of players. I don't even know. The last number I, I knew was from, like, eight months ago or whatever. It was, like, a 22 million copy sold or something. It's astronomical. Uh, but I don't know. I, I, I Maybe I'm mistaken, but I thought there would be at least a couple more channels above the 1 million mark by now, but maybe I'm wrong. Anyways, that's just sort of my spiel on the Overwatch contest. Let me know what you guys think, by the way. Like, how do you feel about uh, Overwatch YouTubers and things like that? I feel like, personally, there's a there's a place for everyone, you know? Like, I, I know people like to rag on Sty and the Overwatch and Overwatch Central and Force. In fact, there was a post on Reddit the other day that was like, you don't, if you come to this Reddit, you don't need to watch any of the Overwatch YouTubers. And everyone was having a circle jerk bashing of a number of Overwatch YouTubers. I'm like, guys, like, you do realize not everyone goes to Reddit, you know? And, like, uh, like a lot of times people don't like to read patch notes or, or you know you know what I mean? Like, there's a market for that kind of shit. And if you don't like it, then just don't watch it. I don't know. Oh, guys, why does Stylosa and Overwatch Central and Overwatch all cover the same thing? I mean, I, I get it. I get it, man. I mean, but at the same time, I understand. Like, listen, if there's some, if a fucking bomb goes off in North Korea, do you think just one news outlet is going to cover it? Like, just ABC? No. Like, everyone's going to cover it, right? So if a new hero comes out, like, it's just, it's just part of, it's just part of the, 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 the deal, man. Like, every Overwatch channel is going to talk about this new thing. I think there's definitely a place uh, f and market for videos like Styes and videos like your Overwatches and your, your Overwatch Central, your Overwatch Central, Overwatch Central, Force, you know? They all have their own fan base and different people who prefer one over the other or, or, or what have you, or they like all of them. I mean, obviously, obviously there is a market for it because of how many views they get. But this is just sort of a, from a creator standpoint, that's just sort of my point of view. As someone, as a, as a qualified member, <laughs> qualified member of the, uh, of the, of the, of the what? I don't even know. I'm just saying, man, okay? I used to do videos like that. I understand why, why it's done. And I feel like uh, when people write these comments on Reddit and comment sections, they don't understand. They don't get it. But not to rag on Reddit, okay? I'm not declaring war on Reddit. God, please help me. Look at me, look at me, defending my fellow YouTube comrades. Wow. Wow, what a what a what a upstanding citizen I am. So what's next, right? Um I got I'm trying to do more PUBG stuff. That's a game I'm really into and I really, really enjoy. Uh some of you old uh, old school candy root subscribers out there will notice I've been putting out some dirty bomb content. I would like to put out at least one Dirty Bomb video a week, but that's probably not going to happen considering how long like everything else takes to make. So maybe once every two weeks. I'll try to do it once every week. Um, I definitely want to do more PUBG videos. Maybe one of those every week as well. Maybe two. Uh, the Overwatch videos, ideally, you know, I want to keep that up as well. Maybe one or two. 
Preferably two. I don't want to do one. This week is probably going to be one. God damn it. I hate weddings. Just kidding. I don't hate weddings. It's for my best friend. Okay. I can't. I, I, I love I love weddings. I absolutely love weddings. It's just I, I also love doing YouTube videos and making sure, you know, people are seeing content on my channel. All right. I'm not just because I'm gone for a few days doesn't mean I'm, I'm dead. So yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I, from what I understand, the YouTube algorithm kind of screws you in a way. I don't want to say screws you, but it definitely doesn't like help you when you know most of your subscribers don't look at the subscription feed. Yes, there's an actual button for your sub box. If you click on that, you can see like just what your subscription is post. Uh, most of them don't use that. Usually, it's the homepage. Usually, it's the suggested, you know, the, the little videos on the side. Um, that's where most a lot of, most of the traffic comes in. I'm not saying this to say like, oh, go watch my PUBG videos, guys. I'm saying like, if you actually like PUBG, you know, like I do have a whole playlist. So if you guys want to check that out, shameless plug. I really want to do more videos about it. But like, of course, like my view count, my view count just hurts my ego, hurts my soul. Oh my God. I spent so much time making those videos and I don't get shit for views on those. But um, you know what? It's fine. I, I kind of like... I'm looking past it and like just for my own sanity like I can't I just can't do I can't do any game anymore 100% you know like if I just uh, to me to me anyways those PUBG videos that I make are really more for me just for my own creative sanity if I just keep pumping out Overwatch videos all the time I may you know go crazy I mean I'm already a little bit crazy but you guys know what I mean I'm gonna be out for a few days uh, you guys got my thoughts about Overwatch YouTubers? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as far as the future, man, the, f the future, uh, I told you about the, uh, the Overwatch content is still gonna come out. I'm gonna try, I'm really trying to do at least two videos a week for Overwatch, but it's really friggin' difficult. Um, and I want to be more consistent with PUBG because I really enjoy that game. Like, it's, it, it's got me, guys. It's got me good. Yeah, that's, I, I will want to do at least one or two videos of that. And maybe the one, one, one a week Dirty Bomb video. Which is probably not gonna happen. Uh, I I know I I love the game. I just don't have I just don't have time. Uh, I don't know. I'll try to squeeze that in at least at least at least once every two weeks, right? But ideally once a week. So we'll see. But yeah, I kept you guys here long enough. I don't even know how long this recording is gonna be. I hope I have enough uh, gameplay gameplay to roll in the background. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it's a little different. Let me know your thoughts again on what I talked about and I'll see you guys hopefully on Monday hopefully maybe to probably Tuesday uh, what, what am I who, who am I kidding it's probably not gonna be until honestly actually no it's probably not gonna be until Wednesday god damn it it's like I gotta record on Monday and Tuesday then edit on Wednesday ooh yeah it's gonna be tricky man this this uh this little trip kind of fucks up my schedule because usually I get to record a lot over the weekend and just use that footage oh man all right guys um I'll see you guys in the next one.